Hi guys, welcome to your quick and effective chair yoga for arms and wrists. Now I've designed this yoga sequence especially for those of you who are sitting in front of your computer five days a week for your job. Now it's very, very important for us to allow our wrists to stretch out in order to decompress the medium nerve. Now if this nerve is not decompressed, we are subject to things like carpal tunnel syndrome, which you might need surgery to get rid of. So what we're going to do in this sequence is we're going to stretch out our wrists, we're going to open them up, we're going to avoid the syndrome by really opening everything up and decontracting everything. As someone who is in your shoes, who's always working on their computer I can definitely understand the tension that we may experience so go ahead and get comfortable in your chair uh, come join me follow my voice and let's decompress those wrists All right, friends, so today we're going to start by taking a big deep breath in, interlacing your fingers and putting them up towards the sky. Stretching out those wrists, that back, that chest. In just a second, we're going to put our arms to the side of our bodies, stretch them out, we're gonna clench our fists and make little circles with those arms. Great job, guys. This is a great way of toning up those arms as well, so you're getting both benefits here of stretching out those wrists as well as toning up those arms. Great, take it on to the other side. So if you were going forwards with those circles, we're gonna go backwards now. Stopping those circles in just a minute, we're going to clench our fists and we're going to let go. So meaning we're going to stretch out those arms and then clench back those fists again. We're going to do 10, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, great job guys, almost there. Eight, nine, last one, ten. Good job. We're going to take an arms runner stretch. So putting your right hand to the sky, bringing it towards your side, and cradling that arm with your left arm. What we're going to do with the right arm, we're going to clench our fists and let go again with our hands. Doing five clench fists here. Three, four, Five. Good job. Now doing the same thing on the other side, so left arm to the side of your body, cradling the arm with your right arm, and five clench fists. Two, three, four, five. Wonderful. Now we're going to do one of my favorite poses, which is the figure eight. You're gonna interlace your fingers and just let go. Just be crazy here and make a little figure eight with your arms. This is a great way to relax those wrists after doing those clenched fists. Put our left hand up to the sky and we're going to bring the wrist, the hand, back towards you while putting one leg up. We're going to switch those legs. So we're going to open up the wrist towards us and switch those legs. Good job. Doing the same thing on the other side. So pulling that wrist towards you while putting your legs up and switching them as you pull that wrist towards you. Three, four, five, 
six, seven, eight, nine, ten. Good job, guys. Now we're going to put up our hands in front of us and straighten out, meaning pulling each little finger towards you. So starting from the pinky, going all the way towards the thumb on each side. So now we're going to go thumb, index, middle, ring, and pinky. Great job. Taking it to the other side here, the same thing. So pulling back the thumb, the index, the middle, ring, and pinky. Taking it all the way back towards the thumb. Taking our palms now, palms up, we're going to place them beneath our buttocks or thighs and we're going to lift the soles of our feet ten times. Three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. Good job, guys. Now we're going to do eagle arms. So we're going to take our right hand to the top of the sky and hug it with our left hand, putting the arms in prayer pose if you can. Taking that posture to the other side, so this time the left hand goes up and you're just going to interlace the right hand and hug that arm. Now interlacing your fingers in front of you, we're going to push them away from you and doing seated cat cow to give you an extra little stretch here. So cat, coming back into cow, cat, cow. Good job guys. Keeping those fingers interlaced, we're going to put them behind our head. Pretend like you're taking a nap here in the sun. And putting one sole from the foot each time. So bringing one sole up, one foot at a time from the ground. Great job, guys. We're going to put our palms underneath our feet. So the palms are facing the top of the foot. This is a great way to stretch out those wrists from your feet and also a great way to let go from your back. Just a bit more guys. On your next breath, try to go a little bit deeper into this posture, allowing your wrists to really let go and detract here. One more deep breath. Great. Now we're going to go into backwards prayer position. So you're going to put your fingers behind your back and connect them, meaning put them together in prayer position. If you can't do this posture today, just put your hands behind your back and 
get your elbows with your hands. This should be a really nice release to end our class today. Wonderful guys, good job. One more deep breath in this posture. Slowly come out. And we're gonna do a slight neck stretch here. So taking your right hand and bending your neck to the right side. Other side now, left arm goes up, pulling that neck to the left side of your body. Great job guys, taking one more deep breath, hands to heart, to end this wonderful class for your wrists, thanking yourself for taking this time to be kind to your wrists, to let them go, to help them decontract. Thank you so much for taking this time out of your busy schedule from work. I'm so happy that you have joined me and I can't wait to see you soon. Bye.